because it's a Red Hat based edition. So you cannot install the Ansible on Windows. Okay. So most likely if you have to install the Ansible on the Windows, so you have to do what? Because it's a, it does what? It does basically takes care of the, uh, the managing the remote servers and these things. So it is, you have to install some Linux based system only to run. Okay. It requires a Linux based system to run. Now, if you have to install it to windows, so you have to basically use what you have to use either of three things. Okay. Either of three things, either you have to use the CYG win windows, either you have to use any virtual machine or enable your Ubuntu. Okay. And once you download the CYG win and these things and install it. So you have basically, uh, like the, so it give you, allows you to put the connections and these things, and you can do with that. Okay. Or you set up a virtual box and these things. Now, how many of you are using virtual, uh, virtual box in your windows machine so far? I have installed it and uh, I am using also. You're using? Yeah, virtual box. Yeah, I, I also installed, but it is taking a lot of space. So I and just is taking a lot of space. No, no, the virtual box. Yeah, virtual box so will take a lot of space. Okay, how about Rajeshwari and Shilpa? I don't, I don't have, have a, yeah, me too. So let's do one thing, right? If you have installed also, it's fine. If not installed then also, it's fine. Now, the important part is that these are the steps which you have to do to install it on a Linux machine. Now, everyone spin up your AWS infra, the Linux machine. Everyone just spin up quickly one in for AWS EC2 Linux instance and let me know. Yeah, done. Okay. What about others?
with help. Yes, I am done. Shilpa. I'm launching it, uh, Sachin. Done, guys. Ankit. Yes. Share your screen. <coughs> Ansible is very interesting in uh, this thing. I'm doing practical stuff. A lot of use cases are there. Now, switch to root user. Hello, everyone. Run this command. APT, we need to do right? Or... Yum, you have to use yum. yum. What is you have installed Ubuntu? Not Ubuntu, this is this is Linux. Achha. Virtual machine, AWS. And Linux virtual machine. No? Mm -hmm. Then do yum. Yum and other things remain the same. Hmm. I think add will get removed, but run it, enter it. No. One minute. Hmm. Do write u name minus a. U name minus a space minus a. Huh? One. Uh, 
run this command. No package available. Just write, uh, just check if Python is installed here. Just write Python minus minus version. Hmm, installed 2.7 version. Just write pip install ansible. Hmm. So guys, if you have a Python also, right? So you can install Ansible with this way. In my case, uh, Sachin, a pip command is not found with this today. Do you have Python? Yeah, it is Python is there. Okay. Which version of Python you have? 2.7.18. Hmm. How about others, Rajeshwari? Uh, yeah, so we need to give these commands now, which you have. Shared. You have installed what? No, I didn't install anything now. No, you have Linux Ubuntu or which Ubuntu? No, I have Windows, not Linux. You have not spinned up EC2 server? So I have opened it. If you have oh, a install, I spin, I spinned up. I think Windows Server. I don't know. In oh. command prompt, which uh, uh, like uh, command we need to give? You don't have to do it in command prompt. You have to open. You cannot install Ansible on a Windows machine. That's what I am saying since long. You have to spin up a AWS EC2 instance. Remember, guys. The Linux virtual machine or the Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay. Hmm. We will do it again, I think. You have to. Okay. It showed an error now. Let's give some error. It's okay. Install Python 3, which I have given the commands with that. Hmm. Shilpa, how are you doing? I have uh, uh, created an instance in AWS and then uh, via putty and all I have uh, configured. But when I open the instance, it is asking for login as. So when I log in, uh, it is giving an error. Error? Yeah. I don't know why, because previously on all it worked uh, fine, but I don't know why now it is giving the, it shows a server refused our key, but I have created a PPK file and then uh, that one only I have copied in the putty. It is showing no package uh, EPL release. Hmm. I have given you another command, right? EPL hmm. release in Python 3 minus Y, right? Hmm. Copy yes. that command. That I already done. Sir. What? It is already installed. It's fine. As a Python 3, you have run it. Now, what hmm. you are running? Email. Now, I run this. Huh. So, you install the another one. Uh, Amazon C, C down. sudo Amazon Linux. Extra install EPL. Just run that command. Oh, okay. So Shilpa, you run this command sudo install python3 hyphen y. Achha, but you are not able to log in. Right? 
hold on guys let's be on every sink you know otherwise one person will be uh, at... uh, uh, sachin i should use i should select amazon linux right server hmm either you select the ubuntu na that is much better yeah i will select ubuntu who have not done shilpa share your screen yeah yeah and get stop sharing yeah. i want everyone should be on the same track ha huh. shilpa do one thing go to your yeah. issue stance yeah this one click on okay come out of this your login will be is wrong your login will be ec2 hyphen user ma'am oh not your gmail id mm. Oh, it's giving the same uh... where is your screen or oh, is it not uh... no ec2 hyphen user not underscore Uh, yes, sir. It is working now. I'll run the above commands. Run in front of me only. Don't worry. Shows the command not found. We are not able to see your screen, ma'am. Hmm. You have to run the sudo pip sudo yum install python three wala command. Those people who are installing Ubuntu, they have to run app add wala. Otherwise, you have to run sudo yum install python three minus y that command. Hello. Continue all right. I'll get the. So for me, it's already installed. Uh, it shows and uh, nothing to do. So do I need to install now April release and uh, this? 
Yes, yes. We have stopped sharing every time. Oh, I don't know why it's uh, when I move to the other window, it's uh, you are not sharing your entire me. screen. Now that's why. Yeah. Share your entire screen. Okay. Ha. Huh. Be what it says that Python three is already available. Okay. Now run that DPL release wala command. Ankit, update, yum update you have run? Yes, I have run and Ansible is also present now. Ansible minus minus version check? What yes. Is... yes, I checked. What about you guys, Vithal and Rajeshwari? Where are you? Yeah, ah. I'm installing. Yeah, Sachin, here in this screen, what we have to do, I want to know, which is there on the screen now. Uh, one minute like the hold on hold on i'll come to back to you every time i cannot tell you guys how to log into the ec2 server guys i'll i'm coming to you okay you run this command sudo amazon linux extras that command uh shilpa you hmm? see there, above there is a command na, sudo amazon linux extras epl this wala, this one this command copy hmm. this huh. Which, oh, this one, okay. Hmm. Uh, press Y. Hmm. Ankit, whatever command we have run right now for Linux, paste all the commands in the chat window by one, two, three, four steps. Okay. Sudo, now next command you write. Sudo, yum, space update, space minus y. You know why this we pass this minus y? Enter. But we pass this minus y, guys, because I by default we are giving an option as yes here. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So it won't ask you to enter those yes and those things. Great. Now write sudo yum in space install space ansible space minus y. Now write Ansible minus V. You have Ansible installed here, okay? Write Ansible minus minus version. You have Ansible installed. So 2.9, yeah. Hmm. Great. So this is done at your end. Ansible is installed. Now next time, then you will